Welcome to the IMC Studio tutorial. In today's session, I would like to show you how you can use IMC Studio Panel Plugin to visualize your measurement data. Our IMC measurement device is set up the same as we had it in our first measurement segment. And in that tutorial, we demonstrated how to show your measurement data in the flying curve window. However, for permanent use, displaying data in the flying curve window uh, is somewhat impractical. Therefore, IMC gives you the option to create a panel page where you can display your measurement data from different devices on one single page. So let's get started. In the IMC panel, we now have a whole page available where we can display our measurement data. On the right hand side of the page, we can find the data browser where all various channels and variables from our measurement devices can be found. We now have the capability to display our strain and temperature channels in a standard curve window. Using drag and drop, we have different possibilities to display our measurement data. In this case, we will arrange them in the same curve window under one another. In addition, we can also display the data in separate curve windows. We also have other possibilities. For instance, here we can display the data as a direct numerical values for each channel. Make a few adjustments to the size. Or we also have the possibility to display our temperature channel as a thermometer. And here we'll set our range between 25 and 35 degrees Celsius to make it a little more accurate. Now we would like to demonstrate the vibration of the tuning fork. Now we will stop the measurement and adjust the axes to zoom in and take a closer look at the vibration waves. Now we can see the individual sine waves. We can use the measurement cursor to measure the distance between the two maximum values. This will allow us to know the frequency of the vibration. Now we can see here that we have a frequency, after we get this set up, at approximately 426 hertz. To have these approximate values is quite useful, but of course to calculate the FFT of the vibration is even more valuable. In IMC Online FAMOS, there are real-time processors that allow you to integrate various calculations like FFT. The setup of the calculations we will perform in Online FAMOS, so we will click here on the Online FAMOS button. After opening Online FAMOS, you can see that we have different areas of information. On the left side, you can see our various channels displayed, and on the right side, the different mathematical functions are displayed. Here on the bottom, we have the operations area, where you can enter the various equations you would like to calculate. To do the calculations, you can use several options, such as drag and drop, or by directly typing the equations into the operations field. Now we would like to calculate the FFT of the strain channel. Therefore, using drag and drop, we can move the strain channel to the FFT function on the right side. The message box will appear, and you will be asked for some information, such as naming the spectrum. Here we will call it simply spectra. The rest of the settings we will leave as they are, then click on Apply. The equation will then appear in the Operations area. And now we can close Online FAMOS and return to our panel page. Once we leave Online FAMOS, the equation will be written directly into the measurement device. In the Data Browser, we can now find, under Virtual Channels, the channel we created using Online FAMOS. Using drag and drop, we will now display the channel directly on the panel page in a standard curve window. We will now start the measurement again, 
and once again strike the tuning fork. If you stop the measurement, one more time, if we stop the measurement now, you can again see the sine wave, but now we also see the FFT. In this example, the result appears a little under 0.5 kilohertz, which is around 440 hertz as we expected. Although this is only a basic demonstration, with a little more time and effort, it is quite simple to create a panel page much more visually appealing, like the one displayed here. That's all for today's tutorial. Thanks for your attention, and stay tuned for the next IMC Studio tutorial.